So on some of my videos, you may or may not have noticed that I've got a couple of records mounted on the wall. These are by Manson, great albums if you've not seen them. And I was also bought uh, another one, this is Live at the Ritz, and I actually attended this concert, which is why I've got the record, but I've never played any of them because I don't have a record player. And that was until I was asked if I would like to review one. So today we're gonna go a bit old school and check out a new vinyl record player. So here we have two speakers. Turntable, power, and a bag of bits, connection cables. So around the back, you've got two sets of speaker out, power, you've got a source selector, phono or line, you've got the inputs, power in, and interestingly here, this is a USB PC input. That allows you to use this software to convert your records into digital files and you can see the cables and manual and little bag of bits that this comes with. It has a backlit volume remote and buttons to control record speed, the mode and play pause when using Bluetooth. So at this point I should say I had a slight issue with the deck. As it started to rotate round, it started to make a scraping noise. Now it turns out that in the little bag of bits is a small ball bearing and you're supposed to add that into the record player. It, it comes in the bag I guess to stop it getting lost because it might fall out and that lifts the turntable up enough that it stops scraping. As soon as I'd done that, put the record on, no problem at all. Plays brilliantly. I can't play this for you now though because I don't have permission to play this music online. But if you don't have a big record collection, I mean, I only really have this one and the ones on my wall and I'm not going to take those down. You might think, well, is this worth investing in? And maybe you're going to build up your vinyl collection. Maybe you've already got a vinyl collection, but don't worry either way because this has Bluetooth on board as well. So you can pair it with your phone as I've done and then just hit play. And there you go, music comes out. So a couple of things about this, I would say the speakers are pretty decent. You can see they're only a small size, <laughs> they're putting out a decent volume. The top doesn't have a soft close mechanism, so be careful that might slam shut. When you want to play the record, you're gonna to have to go old school and lift it and put it down. I know some decks you can press a button and it does that automatically. When it gets to the end of the record, it will just stop automatically, but it won't reset the needle uh, back into its resting position. You might want to consider doing as well is Bluetooth pair this with a device like a, a Echo Dot and that way you've got a full smart system that would have access to Spotify and have voice control. But one thing to note is there's no way of adjusting the treble or bass or any of that. There's no equalizer on board but the speakers do sound uh, very good actually. Considering they're a small size they go up to a <laughs> really high volume if you want. You could easily annoy your neighbours with these. So that, this is about 50%. Now I know I'm wearing a microphone, but I'm sure you can probably still hear this. If I put it up a bit loud, I'm, I'm having to shout over it. Here we go. This is about 75% volume. Getting quite loud in the ears. I wouldn't want to put it any higher than that because it is really loud. The small speakers, they're brilliant. So very loud speakers if you need them to be, but they can also go right down. So I've been pretty impressed with this. I like the fact that it's got Bluetooth on board. It, it opens up your options for playing different types of music. It was easy to get set up. Just bear in mind that little ball bearing so that you don't have any problems. And the fact that it comes with all the speakers means you can get set up very quickly and just put it in place and you're done. So thank you to the manufacturer for sending me this product to review. I will put links in the description below if you want to learn more. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you on my next review.